Hey, what's going on everybody? I just got here to the gym and I'm heading inside to grab my favorite tool, the landmine, to hit a full upper body pump session with 30 moves for the upper body. Let's go. Hey, this video is brought to you today by my friends at Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. Element was formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited to folks following keto, low carb, or paleo diets. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium per packet. The perfect ratio I have found for me. What I love the most is that there's no junk, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. As a member of our community, Element has a very special offer for you. You can claim your free Element sample pack simply by going over to the website, drinkelement.com forward slash Marcus Philly to get yours. And if you're wondering what my favorite flavor is, raspberry salt mixed with some ice water is delicious. I hope you enjoy. The T-Bar Row, the most classic landmine exercise ever. It can be performed with a variety of different grips, neutral grips or wider pronated grips. If you don't have the proper grip, then guess what? A towel works just as well. A barbell single arm row. You want to use smaller diameter plates when you do this loaded exercise. It's going to allow you to get better range of motion at the top of each row. Stagger your stance slightly and brace with the non-working arm on your thigh for a better position. For the meadow row, turn your body perpendicular to the barbell and focus on driving the elbow up and out on every single rep. Use a staggered stance and brace with your forearm on your thigh. Lastly, for the meadow row, make sure that you're actually letting your arm and your shoulder relax all the way forward so that you get a deep stretch in your upper back and your rear delt. The bench supported row is gonna offer you more stability. Now you can line up a bench perpendicular to the barbell, place your knee and your non-working arm on the bench and get a lot of support so that you can really focus predominantly on just rowing the elbow out and up to the ceiling. For the bench plank row variation, we are incorporating a pushing isometric on the opposite arm. That push and pull combination with the core isometric makes this a full body exercise. The unique arcing motion of the landmine makes this a great trap and delt exercise, which feels much smoother than a traditional barbell or cable upright row. For the single arm press, your feet are going to remain next to one another. You should feel some lateral core stability requirements in order to maintain your posture well. Now for the staggered stance single arm press, you're gonna feel maybe a bit more powerful and aligned for the single arm pressing. You'll likely feel a bigger stretch all throughout the side of the body when the arm is overhead and the leg is slightly behind you. The seated press is a great starting point for athletes looking to build confidence in their overhead pressing. I like how you have a stable foundation underneath you in the form of a bench, and you can focus simply on the pressing action. The half kneeling landmine press is perhaps my favorite of all the single arm presses. The half kneeling position creates a very stable foundation while also allows you to work mobility all along the front of the working side of the body. Now turning your body position slightly, performing the kneeling lateral shoulder press might feel very similar to what you've experienced on a machine style shoulder press before. It's great for hitting the lateral side delts and you'll feel a lot of control as you work into that muscle group. The heel sit position is a unique way to build in some lower body mobility while you're working your upper body strength. Hold the landmine with both arms underneath the chin 
and then press the head forward and through the arms as best you can at the top of each rep. The Landmine Z-Press is one of the most demanding press variations that we have. This position will challenge your hip flexors, your core, your front delts, your thoracic spine, all in a very unique way. The tall kneeling side to side press allows us to hit our shoulders from some unique angles and is a nice variation as compared to many of the other very linear press movements that we've seen thus far. One of the best explosive press variations that we have with the landmine is the tall kneeling push press. Make sure you have a soft cushion underneath your knees, which can help a lot with feeling confident to press up fast. Make sure you only bring your butt down as low as you feel comfortable. Remember, we don't want to feel pain in our knees and our lower body. For the alternating push-up, focus on bringing the chest down to the floor as close to the hand that is supported on the ground as possible. Don't rush your transitions. The last thing you need to do is take a barbell on the chin. Rollout push-ups are fun and demanding on the shoulders. The arm on the floor is going to be doing the majority of the work, but the outstretched arm will also play a very important stability role. So be sure to push down into the landmine with the extended arm. Now the archer push-up with the arm that is stretched out to the side, I want you to think about pressing down into that barbell and you're going to be working the chest in much the same way that you would with an incline or a flat bench dumbbell or cable fly. For the landmine floor press, I want you to start by lining your body up perpendicular to the landmine. When you go to grab the landmine, I want you to start to move your body around to find the best position that feels most comfortable through the full range of motion. Perhaps you need to move further away from the landmine or a bit closer. Find what works for you. For the incline floor press, now our feet are going to be pointed away from the landmine. And we're going to be working this particular exercise to target a bit more of the upper chest and the shoulder. For the decline floor press, now our feet are going to be pointed towards the base of the landmine. And this is going to bias our lower chest and a bit more of the triceps. Okay, the first of two shoulder isolations, the lateral raise. It's time to strip the weight down so that we can really focus on isolation of the lateral delts. You're going to angle your body however feels best in order to get predominantly lateral shoulder engagement and movement. To work the rear delts in the shoulder raise, we're going to attempt to get our upper body leaning forward at approximately 45 degrees while we're going to drive our elbow back and behind us. Search for the optimal position relative to the landmine so that you can feel this in the back of your shoulder. All right, let's finish up with core work. Landmine hip rotations involve the entire body and torso rotating from side to side. Bring the landmine from one hip to the other while passing that barbell right past your chin. Another twist variation is called the anti-rotational twist. For anti-rotational twists, we gotta keep our torso and our hips forward the entire time. We're simply rotating the arms and the shoulders to move the landmine from side to side. Your core is gonna be working to fight the rotation of the body and the weight. The goblet press out involves a slight rotation of the shoulders. As the weight moves further from the torso, you will feel the shoulders and the core have to support much more of the barbell weight. The Turkish sit-up is a great movement but you're gonna to need to ditch the weight plate on it. Move yourself a little bit further back from the landmine base if you wanna make this a bit easier. This is a super challenging exercise, not only on the hip flexors and the core, but also on the shoulders. For the Russian twist, I want you to lift your heels off the floor ever so slightly while you perform these rotations. 
If you need to, you can regress this and place the heels back down on the floor, but at least give it a shot starting with them up. Last but not least are the leg wipers. As you alternate side to side on each rep, attempt to bring your legs all the way down back to the floor. When your legs are outstretched in front of you and your heels tap the ground, try not to let your low back lift off the floor. Thanks for hanging with me for all 30 of those movements. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, boom, smash that thumbs up button and give us a like. Also, make sure you subscribe for our future videos that are coming out, especially the one a week from now where we're gonna hit 30 lower body moves so that you can round out your landmine training experience. Take care.